This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I do a full oracle card spread here on YouTube. It's an energy reading. It's an oracle energy reading. So it's for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Taurus influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes and energies for the next week or so. There are no dates on my readings anymore because I learned that they really didn't matter that much to people. <laughs> so um, um, I will let you know, however, that there is a new Taurus video every single week. So please do click subscribe. If you want the videos hot off the press, I release one every single week. And if you subscribe, you help the channel grow. So thank you. And you can also then click that bell and get notifications of when I've uploaded the most recent Taurus video, which I hope that you enjoy. Uh, there's always an extended reading. Know that because that expands upon, articulates, and personalizes um, the reading that we begin on YouTube. And I hope you continue the journey with me over onto Vimeo. That link is always in the description box below. So Taurus, these are your energies for the week. Um, the week, the week coming, the week, whatever, from when, whenever you see this video, these are the energies that's coming for you. Two energies have popped out to crown your reading. Let's see what they are. Uh, reclaim your power and spirit has your back. Damn, Taurus. This is you getting your sense of self back. You just found where you belong. You just realized it. You just finally come into what you are and where you want to be. And now you know. Maybe you've even established yourself as a leader, as somebody who uh, makes the rules and makes the decisions, got hired, hired for a new job, or you're in a leadership position, or you've taken a leadership position, or you're just looked on as a leader. But this is a sense of really feeling strongly, really feeling good about an institution and a structure that you're a part of, that you belong to, and that you're actually helping to build. This would imply, these two cards would imply that you're actually helping to build this energy, to build this um, a system or program that you are a boss. See, this is Capricornian energy, very favorable for you because it's, it's earth energy, but it's about rules. It's about um, structure. It's about long-term commitment. And this is about fueling your fire and finding the place where you belong, you know, being confident in yourself and reclaiming this, this sense of like, almost like feeling like you were left in the shadows, but now coming out and being taken notice of, you know? Um, so yeah, you, you, you have found your stride, Taurus. That's what the crowning energy is. A sense of regaining a sense of spirit and direction by leading others, by helping others, by um, taking on a leadership role, maybe even an opportunity for leadership coming out of the blue for you or, or being presented to you um, unexpectedly or making a decision that you have to lead um, or uh, like take take the lead on something. Um, but both of these are very grounded energy, but it's also change. So this card is five and this card is eight. This is destiny. So it's your time, Taurus. It's your time to step up and take the lead. Like, I think you're noticing something now, something coming out of the dark, something being just realized that if I don't take a stand and I don't make the change, then nobody will. I have to do it because I'm in the position to do it. I'm the one that sees this. I'm the one that notices it. So I, I, it's, it's my turn. It's my turn. So this is definitely you stepping into the lead. Um, I think after be, something, something has sort of trust in the great mystery. No, you're coming out of being sunk into your emotions. You are breaching. You are coming up for air. You're, 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 you're announcing yourself to the world. It's almost like, it's almost like here I am showing yourself. So I could see you making an announcement, making a bid for pre like Taurus for president, you know, like making a bid for president, making a bid to, you know, run, uh, apply for that new job or whatever, whatever it is. It's like, you're coming out and saying, no, this is my opportunity. You're jumping up to grab it. You're jumping up. You're, you're wanting it and you're announcing it out loud. Interesting. Uh, this is also six plus five. This is the energy of awakening. So something is finally coming to the surface. Something is finally surfacing, something that may have been very emotional for you, something that you may have suppressed or may have kept hidden for a while, or maybe it's you yourself that's coming to the surface, finally jumping out of the water. And like I said, coming into being recognized by everybody like, yeah, now it's my time. I'm, I'm here now. <laughs> that's kind of what it is. I've arrived. 
Um, this is good energy for you, actually. You deciding that you can, you're ready for this. You're ready for the challenge that it presents to you. You're ready for um, maybe even the hardship or the struggle that it presents to you because you got your horns on and this is your energy of I can overcome anything I set my mind to. Think of all those, those that horns of, of that being your sharp mind. If I set my mind to it and I set my feet on the ground, this is very stable, balanced energy. It's a very stable, balanced change. It's a change that has come upon you because you're solid, like you're rock solid now. This is certainty in oneself. This could be so certain with yourself that you could be patient with others, but simultaneously, you're not going to let anything stop you. This is a very playful energy standing by, a, I'm just going to get things done. So you're really happy about this decision. It's like uh, the air has lightened, but you feel more grounded. And I think the air has lightened because you feel more grounded. Be playful. An energy of five plus one is six. This could be you just reaching your stability, feeling the ground under your feet, feeling good about yourself, and really having a good time, making a decision that really feels good to you. You're in a happy place, happy space, kind of feel like uh, self-possessed really in control of your surroundings. Um, you, 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 like I said, in the crowning energy, you found where you belong. Now is a lucky time. The energy of nine plus four is 13, more energy of four. Um, so this is luck, this is fortune, and this is your fortune and your opportunities replicating themselves. Like rapidly replicate, think of the, the rabbit, rapid replication. This could be also celebrating because you've just found out that you're going to have a baby or you'll be able to reproduce or you've met somebody and you're going to get married. This is a sense of your family growing um, and feeling really happy about it. Um, um, uh, but also you growing outside of the boundaries that you had been held in. You've also, you're, you're kind of expanding. You're expanding outside of those places that your comfort zone, you're expanding outside of it. You're expanding your comfort zone. Let's put it that way. Uh, that's, this is central. This is your central energy. Um, and then we have think on your feet. Seven plus two is nine. So this is the energy of feeling really comfortable in chaos, being surrounded by chaos and having to figure out how to navigate it. Um, but at, it, good thing it came at this time in your life because in any time of your life, you're feeling capable or maybe helping others navigate the chaos, a sense of bringing order to chaos. You found your place. You found your passion in a way to bring order to chaos. Ooh, nice. Um, there is something around you that feels like it's rapidly getting more and more chaotic and crazy, which is probably why you're stepping up to say, no more. I'm putting my foot down. This is actually what I'm good at and where I belong. I'm going to put some order to this chaos. Make some... Um, you know, make some sense out of all of this craziness. This is Sagittarian energy here too. That's Sagittarius energy. Think on your feet, just going like, like responding to the moment in front of you. And it's going to yield many wonderful opportunities for you. Hold on. Um, two more cards have popped out. Oh, um, um, so this is sing your own song. You found your tune. You, you're whistling. You're happy. You found a way to sing, even though it may be hard for you, even you know you might be struggling or feeling trapped. But this is also a sense of taking taking control of the reins and being the, the one to actually cast something into into like cast something into the future it's like spell cast weaving weaving your spell um maybe through song maybe through music able to um help through music or through speaking or talking um, um casting out your net so that you broaden your network and expand to catch more flies right um uh 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 uh, Scorpio got this similar energy too. It could be finding a reason to sing or finding inspiration in very confining space or very confining times in a very uncomfortable circumstance, finding a way to find good in it. And that's what you're doing. You're finding an opportunity to, like I say, replicate your health and fortune. Um, not health, maybe health, but replicate your fortune and expand upon it. Ooh, grounding energy, grounding, 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 grounding energy for Taurus. You feel pretty grounded this week. 
Um, this is your strong sense of self and the future. You know where you want to be in the future and you know where you want to head. But this is also leadership, more leadership. You have Leo and Capricorn energy here. You are taking the lead. This is you. I said, I said Taurus for president. It's coming out too. It's coming to a head. It's coming to a conclusion. It's coming to a finality. It's um, it's being made official. So something that you're doing, you're deciding to take the reins and usher into the new future. You're looking into the future. What did I say? Taurus for president. But this is also a sense of feeling comfortable with yourself. Feeling very self-assured, very confident, very competent. Um, and having a true vision for the future, because that's what Leo energy is. It doesn't doubt itself even for a second. It feels really confident and comfortable in its own skin and realizing now that you're the one in charge. Um, oh, lucky stars being bought into public recognition, public attention, the light is shining on you, becoming a star. Maybe you're coming out into public recognition or getting to get some public recognition. This is Aquarius energy, the truth coming out. This is my star card. So this is having your wishes fulfilled or wishes come true. Something that you've always wanted, seeing it in your sight or shooting for the stars, shooting for the stars and, and, and aiming for the stars and shining like the sun, aiming for the stars and shining like the sun so you have um, some really lofty goals here you 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 are not skimping on your objectives um these are far-reaching goals here um and this is time to let go three plus one but this is in reverse so this is no you're refusing to let go of something and i think that that basically this is more of you're taking root you're making a decision that you're not letting go of anything. You're holding on with all your might. Maybe you're even growing and expanding. It's like you're taking your roots and you're helping it to grow. You're not going to let go of who you are. You love who you are. You found who you are. You now feel comfortable with who you are. And now you want to announce it or your intentions to the world. See, you found your vibe. You found your flow. You found your inspiration and you found your courage um to maybe face those things that were scaring you or finally something has come out that did scare you and you're able to actually become stronger because you finally faced it and it was in facing that fear that you got the last piece of strength that you needed to be able to be certain about where you were headed and where you wanted to go with your life um, this is definitely standing out into the pulp, like, like approaching the pulpit, like, like, um, standing up and taking, taking, um, taking the mic, um, <sighs> revealing yourself. I, I, this is, this is really interesting energy. It's, it's definitely like you've assumed a leadership role. It could have been a leadership role in your family or in your group of friends or, you know, so it doesn't have to be national or world, like a world takeover, but this is definitely you stepping up and taking on the role of, um, of leader. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around so we, we can review the cards. So this is, you can see right now, it's already a great reading because right down the center, you have a, a, of a definite sense of self revitalized and fully fueled a sense of your future and where you want to be. Your luck is multiplying. So now is a lucky time. Things are rapidly happening for you, reproducing, rapidly reproducing, coming into being, coming into reality. You're getting more, more, more. Things are building momentum, gaining momentum. Um, um, and then here you have your grounding energy, which is I'm ready for my spotlight now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to step out and be seen, but there's something that you're holding on to. And what I think you're holding on to is that sense of pride in who you are. Uh, it's almost like this is part of your strength is that you found what you believe in. And now you're taking what you believe in and you're shedding light on it. You're bringing it to the surface. You're bringing what you believe in into the forefront along with you. So you're not just giving public recognition to you. You're giving public recognition to what you believe in and what you refuse to give up on. So there is a sense here of really taking a stand and making a decision to 
shout and scream and say and speak and talk, even though you might be in some very convoluted uh, chaos, chaotic or manipulative situation, you are saying what you need to say. You're saying what you feel and people are listening to you. I think that's the ultimate um, blessing is that people are actually hearing what you have to say instead of trying to shut you up and make you quiet. Um, you have a, you have the table, you have the floor, you have the platform. Let's see where it's going to take you. I'm going to go and extend this reading with the tarot card. I hope you do in, uh, you do join me. That link is below. And remember, it also includes your romance reading. Taurus, I'll see you over there.